Now, gentlemen of the AEF, the BEF, and the CEF, I want you to meet a handsome lad, well known to all of you, who started out in life as a professional stilt walker. This young man has flashing brown eyes, wavy black hair, and a deep dimple which he acquired when a lady stilt walker slapped his right cheek with her left stilt. <laughs> Kerry Grant. Kerry, welcome to Command Performance. Well, thanks a lot, Raleigh. A pleasure to be here. You know, I'm sorry to say I, I never uh, saw you work on stilts in vaudeville. Uh, were you popular? Oh, yeah, my stilts were. I, uh, I used to follow a dog act. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, uh, now, I mean with your audience. Oh, yes, indeed. You see, uh, Ronnie, I wasn't an ordinary stilt walker like Gary Cooper. Yes, but Gary... <laughs> well, Gary Cooper doesn't walk on stilts. He doesn't. My, he's tall, isn't he? Uh, tell me, Gary, uh, what did your act consist of? Well, I jumped over a picket fence, did a snappy tap dance, and for a finish, I'd rub my two stilts together and start a fire. <laughs> did you do well? Oh, yeah, especially in New York. For an encore, Mayor LaGuardia used to grab a hose and put me out. <laughs> I'm getting, uh... <laughs> Uh, getting back to your pre-stilt days, Kerry, did you, uh, didn't you do a bit of cackling at one time or another? Oh, no, 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 no singing, only snappy patter. Snappy patter? Yes, you know, like, uh, like, uh, you tell him, Dr. Jekyll, I'll hide. <laughs> <laughs> snappy, he says. Uh, well, maybe you should have sung. You know, if you could tell that last joke, you can get away with anything. Didn't you, didn't you know a song about a very young sailor kissing his mother goodbye on the dock or something like that? Oh, yes. Well, Ronnie, that wasn't mine. I heard it someplace. A very sad song. Very sad. Well, give us a few bars. Uh, well, all right. It seems to me it went something like, uh, <clears throat> Goodbye, mother, while I'm out at sea. Think of your sailor that works in the sail, and I will think of thee. Oh, mother, dear, don't keep me waiting. Cause there is no cause for delay. And while he was kissing his mother goodbye, the blinking ship sailed away. Uh, it's a very sad song, isn't it, Ronnie? Oh, very yeah. sad indeed. Yeah. Yes, very sad. You know, wasn't there one something about the railroad station? Mm -hmm. I can't seem to remember the exact title. Oh, you mean watching the trains come in. Ah. Yes, yes. A wonderful comedian. Jack Pleasance used to sing that. That's it, that's mm -hmm. it, yes. A love song. A very beautiful love song. About a Lancashire lad and his girl. They used to go down to the railroad station every Sunday night and watch the trains come in. That's right, Ronnie. You see, there aren't any movies, and in Lancashire on a Sunday night, what else can a boy and girl do? <laughs> well... Ah, <laughs> uh, give us... Give us a few bars, Carrie. All right, it's a beautiful song. <clears throat> watching the trains come in. Watching the trains come in. We'd sit for hours, hand in hand, as only lovers understand. Watching the trains come in. And hearing the porters shout. And when we watched all the trains come in, We'd watch all the trains go out. <laughs> Wasn't that beautiful, Ronnie? Made you cry, didn't it? Ah, uh, uh, well. Well, I'd better catch that train myself. I've got to go out. No, no, no. Stick around, Kerry. We need you in our pièce de résistance. <laughs> While thumbing through our command performance mail, uh, one comes across the name of our next guest many, many times. She's well known as one of Hollywood's greatest emotional actresses. Gentlemen, here's Ida Lupino. Thanks, Ronnie, and hi there, fellas. Ida, I introduced you as an emotional actress, but I understand you have something different in mind for us tonight. Oh, not so very different, Ronnie. What I'm going to do will probably make strong men weep, women faint, and little children run screaming. You, you mean... Uh, yes, I'm going to sing. But I've lost my voice, so you'll have to help me out, Ronnie. Well, all right. The, uh, 
The gentlemen of the armed forces are used to living dangerously. But first, <laughs> but first I want to dip into the mailbag and answer a few of your letters. There's Fanning at 937, Jim Bentley and five British Tommies, the Chirora Club at 713, Zeke, Butch, Lenny, Ernie, Hinder Lover, and the boys on Blueberry Hill at 689. Pihosh, Johnson, Jolly, Russell, True, DeRosa, and Buchanan at Navy Hut A7. Buzzard Beak, Fat Boy, Skinny Puss, Muck, and Cabbage Head at 520. <laughs> and K.G. Moody with the Royal Canadian Navy. Regards to Rocket and the gang on Ascension, Red, Howie, Vet, and Ferdy at 321. The 104 OCBs and that swell gang with the mighty eighth in Italy who signed yours till that certain place freezes. And for the, and for the original gang in Normandy, Ronnie's going to help me do my best with the favorite song of the BEF. <laughs> Happy is the day when we line up for our pay as we go rolling. 